Hi, this is Tony Lin. Uh, welcome to my channel where I present you the news you will never hear from the mainstream media. So uh, today this news is uh, happened in Germany uh, about two months ago. This is from the news report from a famous uh, news website called The Welt uh, in Germany. And this is a very popular uh, news website. This is one of the mainstream media in Germany. I'll include the link for this news for you. However, uh, keep in mind first, this website is written in German. So uh, you will need to use the Google Translate, uh, which I'll explain to you later. Second, uh, this is a membership website, which means uh, in order to read this entire news, uh, you will need to uh, subscribe uh, to their monthly membership. However, uh, I already paid my membership fee, so you can see the entire content in my video. As you can see, this is uh, indeed from the official the web website, and uh, this is a very uh, popular news website in German. As you can see, all the text uh, was written in German. There is one easy way to translate this website. Let me share with you. You can go to the Google Translate. Uh, I also include the Google Translate uh, link for you. So after you go there, you can paste the, the link from this uh, news website here and click this button and voila! it will magically translate all German into English. So disclaimer, uh, in this video, I'm simply report you the news uh, from this uh, German news website. Please keep in mind, according to the CDC, uh, the side effect from the vaccine is extremely, extremely rare. Uh, CDC, they never lie. Uh, and also, uh, this is translated by the Google Translate. And I found uh, it is uh, very accurate. Uh, for, the, uh, for the German uh, English translation, it is uh, uh, almost 90%, more than 90% accurate. So uh, here, uh, the title says, uh, more vaccine side effects than previously known. And keep in mind, uh, CDC, according to the CDC, the side effect is extremely, extremely, extremely rare, if not zero. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, CDC never lie, and they never make any mistake. An analysis of a million of uh, insured persons data from the BKK company health insurance company comes to a significantly higher figures for side effects than the Paul and Leak Institute. The new data is an alarm signal, says BKK board member Andrea Schubert. For the first time, the figures from the large German Health Insurance Association are available on the side effect of the COVID vaccine. The board of the directors of BKK Pro Vita, Andrea Schubert, had the data of a million of insured per persons of the BKK group analyzed. The total number of side effects is therefore many times higher than those reported to the Paul Engle Institute, PEI. Exactly what is the number of uh, these uh, director of the BKK of a Provita Health Insurance Company he says, uh, let me share another link with you. And this link is still written in German and also from the same website, the what? However, uh, this link is available for everyone. You don't need to pay the membership in order to see the content. So this PDF file can be also translated by Google Translate. And let me show you the English version. So if you, uh, they are only two pages. So if you scroll down to the second page, uh, here it says uh, COVID uh, vaccination side effect after corona vaccination. And here is the comparison of the registered data with values from 
uh, this Paul Englick, uh, the German government used the data from the Paul Englick Institute. And uh, here you see the benchmark. Benchmark is uh, also the, the data from the uh, BKK, insure, uh, BKK group uh, because uh, BKK is the parent company for BKK Pro Vita. And the BKK, they also have uh, other health insurance company. And they also uh, post the numbers uh, here from the, uh, they, they post as a benchmark. And they have the numbers from the year of 2020 to 2021. And here you can see uh, the number of the code. Insurance agents, uh, they have uh, verified these uh, code entered by the doctor because these code represent the doctor's uh, diagnosis of the patient. Code are uh, here, uh, T88, T88.1, uh, Y59.9, and U12.9. So go back to the, the web website, you can see what is a T88.0. This is the post-vaccination infection, sepsis uh, post-vaccination. Uh, so this is T88. So what is the sepsis? A serious condition resulting from the presence of the harmful microorganism in the blood or other tissues and the body's uh, response to their presence potentially leading to the malfunction of the various organs, shock and death. Sound very serious. This is according to the Google dictionary. And what is the T88.1? Other post-vaccination complications. Skin rash post-vaccinations. What is the Y59.9? Complication due to a vaccine or biologically uh, active uh, substance and U12.9 adverse uh, reaction to the use of the COVID-19 vaccine. So there you go. These are the codes entered by the doctor and then the patients use these code to file their claim to the health insurance company. I don't know about your experience with the insurance company but uh, when I want to make a claim to the insurance company because you're asking for money, so they will ask you to provide all the evidence, including the diagnosis from the doctor. And from this diagnosis, they check the code entered by these doctors so that you cannot make a false claim. If you suffer from the myocarditis or heart attack, it has to be proven by doctor from these codes. Uh, in the benchmark, uh, in case in the year 2020, uh, how many people uh, they made the claim uh, and uh, with the uh, with this code from the doctors? Uh, it's 12,264. And what about uh, 2021? 2021, <laughs> this is uh, increased by how many folks? Look like to me around the 24th increase. So you can see uh, how many of them is uh, 224,000. And how many of them are from the COVID-19 vaccine? Uh, 216,000. And other vaccine is 7,000. So this number 216,000 uh, COVID-19 vaccine uh, claims. Uh, uh, this number, according to the website I just showed you, uh, what, did, what does it say? The result from the beginning of the 2021 to the middle of the, this is not the entire year, middle of the third quarter. 216,000 uh, BKK policy holder were treated for the side effect from vaccine. Uh, 76, uh, 65 uh, case of the complication from the other vaccine were excluded. So any multiple treatment of the insured person were not included in the statistic, uh, one calculated per, per patient. 
So multiple treatment from the same patient, they counted as uh, one claim. How many of uh, these uh, patients among the total insurer, total health uh, policy holders, is 2.0%. I guess uh, this is, uh, according to the uh, CDC, I have to emphasize uh, this is extremely, extremely rare. So imagine 2%, how low is that? It's uh, extremely low and extremely rare. Uh, here is the result they compared to the Power and Lead uh, Institute. Uh, because according to the Power and Lead Institute, uh, they are, there is a 0.3% uh, patient, they uh, uh, suffer the side effect from the vaccine. And uh, according to the insurance uh, company, uh, it's 2.3%. Uh, I'll include uh, these uh, PDF file for you for the uh, German version and for also for the English version so that uh, you can print this out and you can share this PDF uh, with other people uh, to see uh, the exact data that uh, the mainstream media in the United States, uh, they, they never report this news but you can use this, uh, um, you can use the link uh, from my video description to share this data with more people. Again, uh, I have to emphasize uh, one more time. Uh, see, according to the CDC, the side effect from the vaccine is extremely, extremely, extremely rare. And the CDC is never wrong. And the CDC it never lies. So if you think uh, this uh, data is informative and uh, Please uh, do me a favor, hit the like button and so more people can see this video because we know, uh, because YouTube, uh, they don't want you to see the truth. So we have to rely on ourselves. Thank you for watching today's video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to continue to watch the news you will never see from the mainstream media. Have an amazing day. I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.